It is set for Antonio Brown's trainer, Glenn Holt. Both he and the former NFL wide receiver are accused of beating a man at Brown's home Tuesday. Holt's bond is set at $20,000, and he is not allowed to have any contact with the person claiming the battery. Hollywood police arrived at Brown's home around 2 Tuesday afternoon. Officers say a man approached them and said Brown and Holt beat him. TMZ reports this all stems from an incident with a driver who works for a moving company, but right now police are not saying if that's the case. CBS 4 noted a large moving van parked outside Brown's residence departed, followed by several police cruisers. Holt was arrested at the time, but police couldn't find Brown anywhere. Police issuing an arrest warrant for Antonio Brown a day after an alleged incident outside his Hollywood home landed his personal trainer behind bars. And that trainer walking out of jail tonight as we learn new details about his arrest. Local 10's Roy Ramos is live now with our top story tonight at 11. Roy. Calvin and Nicole, and according to Hollywood Police, this all started when the driver of a moving company came to Antonio Brown's home trying to deliver items that belonged to him. But when Antonio Brown did not want to pay the amount for that shipment, well, that's when they took matters into their own hands. Antonio Brown along with his trainer. Now, we do know that his trainer was taken into custody. However, the last time we spotted Antonio Brown, he was right here in this Hollywood Oaks community. Still no word on if Hollywood police have arrested him. Can you tell us what happened outside of Antonio Brown's house? No words from 35-year-old Glenn Holt as he bonded out of the Broward County defense? Jail, now facing charges of burglary with assault or battery. This is a serious charge, but these allegations are way overblown. While Holt's attorney downplayed the charges, Hollywood police are taking them seriously. Tuesday, Local 10 was there as several officers gathered outside the home of Antonio Brown, where the driver of this moving truck said he was attacked by Brown and Holt, Brown's trainer. The victim told investigators he arrived at Brown's house to deliver goods he had stored in California, but when Brown refused to pay $4,000 for the shipment, the driver took off with Brown throwing a rock at his truck. Later, the victim was told to go back because Brown was now willing to pay, plus extra money for the damages. According to the arrest report I obtained for Holt, that's when Brown again refused to pay the full amount. He said Brown stepped up into the cabin of the vehicle and started to physically grab and pull him. Investigators saying Brown only stopped when he was pulled off of the victim by his manager. The assault doesn't stop there. The victim said Holt entered the vehicle and grabbed the keys from the ignition when they ultimately open the truck and begin taking items out. For hours, police tried to contact Brown, but were unsuccessful. This video obtained exclusively by Local 10 shows the former NFL player jogging around his home Wednesday while there is now an active warrant out for his arrest. And we do know that that active warrant went into effect on Tuesday at 9.30. Right now, Brown is facing a number of charges that include battery, burglary with battery, I should say, to criminal mischief. Still no word on if Hollywood police has taken him into custody. We are staying in very close contact with them. As soon as we gather more information, we will be sure to let you know. For now, here in Hollywood, Roy Ramos, Local 10 News. Troubled NFL star Antonio Brown, officially a wanted man tonight in the city of Hollywood. Police just issued this warrant for his arrest. Let's get right to CBS 4's Kerry Codd. He is live for us at the Broward County Jail, where another man involved, Brown's trainer, was actually just released. Kerry. That's right. Hollywood police confirmed tonight that there is an arrest warrant out for the former NFL All-Pro wide receiver on three criminal charges. This all stems from an incident at Brown's Hollywood home yesterday. Hollywood police are looking to arrest former All-Pro NFL wide receiver Antonio Brown. The charges stem from an incident at Brown's Hollywood mansion on Monday afternoon. That's when police say a van driver tried to deliver some of Brown's items from California. The altercation that ensued led to the arrest of Brown's trainer, Glenn Holt. Holt bonded out of jail late Wednesday night. What do you make of all this then? Why are you arrested? I'm trying to figure the same thing out. Police say Holt grabbed the keys from the delivery truck, cut the driver's hand, and started to unload items from the truck. The police report shows Brown played a role, too. The arrest report for Holt says that when the victim arrived, Brown refused to make payment for the delivery. As the victim was driving off, Brown picked up a rock and threw it at the victim's vehicle, causing a small dent and paint chip on the driver's side door. Police say Brown finally agreed to pay the money as well as extra money to cover the damages in the driver's time. But when the driver came back, Brown refused to pay the extra cash. The arrest report for Holt says another argument erupted and Brown stepped up into the cabin of the vehicle and started to physically grab and pull the victim. The altercation between Brown and the victim caused the victim to have a ripped shirt with multiple abrasions. 
Police say the victim suffered multiple scratches and a scrape during the incident. Once police arrived Tuesday, investigators say Brown retreated inside his home and did not come out. Brown is no stranger to controversy. He's made headlines recently after claims of assault from a former female trainer, a lawsuit over trashing a South Florida condo, and a public incident showing Brown cursing at the mother of his children in front of his kids. And now Hollywood police say they plan to arrest him. Hollywood police say Brown will face one count of burglary with battery, one count of burglary of an occupied conveyance, and one count of criminal mischief. Live in Fort Lauderdale, Kerry Codd, CBS 4 News tonight. Kerry, thanks so much. Troubled NFL star Antonio Brown, officially a wanted man tonight in the city of Hollywood. Police just issued this warrant for his arrest. Let's get right to CBS 4's Kerry Codd. He is live for us at the Broward County Jail, where another man involved, Brown's trainer, was actually just released. Kerry. That's right. Hollywood police confirmed tonight that there is an arrest warrant out for the former NFL All-Pro wide receiver on three criminal charges. This all stems from an incident at Brown's Hollywood home yesterday. Hollywood police are looking to arrest former All-Pro NFL wide receiver Antonio Brown. The charges stem from an incident at Brown's Hollywood mansion on Monday afternoon. That's when police say a van driver tried to deliver some of Brown's items from California. The altercation that ensued led to the arrest of Brown's trainer, Glenn Holt. Holt bonded out of jail late Wednesday night. What do you make of all this then? Why are you arrested? I'm trying to figure the same thing out. Police say Holt grabbed the keys from the delivery truck, cut the driver's hand, and started to unload items from the truck. The police report shows Brown played a role, too. The arrest report for Holt says that when the victim arrived, Brown refused to make payment for the delivery. As the victim was driving off, Brown picked up a rock and threw it at the victim's vehicle, causing a small dent and paint chip on the driver's side door. Police say Brown finally agreed to pay the money as well as extra money to cover the damages in the driver's time. But when the driver came back, Brown refused to pay the extra cash. The arrest report for Holt says another argument erupted and Brown stepped up into the cabin of the vehicle and started to physically grab and pull the victim. The altercation between Brown and the victim caused the victim to have a ripped shirt with multiple abrasions. Police say the victim suffered multiple scratches and a scrape during the incident. Once police arrived Tuesday, investigators say Brown retreated inside his home and did not come out. Brown is no stranger to controversy. He's made headlines recently after claims of assault from a former female trainer, a lawsuit over trashing a South Florida condo, and a public incident showing Brown cursing at the mother of his children in front of his kids. And now Hollywood police say they plan to arrest him. Hollywood police say Brown will face one count of burglary with battery, one count of burglary of an occupied conveyance, and one count of criminal mischief. Live in Fort Lauderdale, Kerry Codd, CBS 4 News tonight. Kerry, thanks so much. Antonio Brown has locked himself inside his home after his trainer was arrested for burglary with batteries. Stay tuned for all the details. Hey, welcome to The Fumble. I'm Britt Johnson. Follow me on social media at I am Britt Johnson. And don't forget to click subscribe to join The Fumble fam if you haven't already. Once again, I'm excited to announce our partnership with ESPN+. Plus. Make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video to find out how you can get a free 7-day trial to ESPN+, Plus, where you can stream all your favorite live sports anytime you want. In the wake of the latest viral videos of Delonte West, I hope people keep the same energy when it comes to Antonio Brown, because this man is clearly suffering from mental issues as well. After a long career of being the likable guy on and off the field, Brown has struggled the last few years to keep it together together, which points directly to possible mental health issues, and it seems to be spiraling out of control. Recently, he went on IG Live and recorded an incident with the mother of his children and the police, and now the former NFL superstar has locked himself in his house, according to the Hollywood, Florida Police Department. ESPN reporting that Brown's trainer, Glenn Holt, was arrested for burglary with battery and Brown has been listed as a suspect. The incident in question occurred when a moving truck driver was assaulted while bringing some of Brown's possessions to his Florida home. At this time, Brown is refusing to cooperate with the police. We will keep you updated on all the latest. Don't forget to let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Fumble fam, we are so excited to become an affiliate with ESPN.